hot dog sushi. I know what you guys are thinking. Why the hell would you do that? First and foremost, no disrespect to the Japanese food culture at all. All right, this is just a fun experiment. This is something I want to try and actually see if it tastes good or not. I'm a big fan of sushi and I'm a big fan of hot dog. Why not just collaborate it together, right? So this is going to be a, a little challenging experiment to actually um, pile up and get together. So. First, I had to get my ingredients, which is going to be rice. I don't have vinegar rice, and the preparation does take a long time. And I believe home-cooked rice, especially steamed white rice, should be fine for this um, experiment here. And I also got some sushi nori um, to roll the rice in, and the rest of the product as well too. And I got some cucumbers, obviously some hot dogs, and I also got some imitation crabs. I'm not going to put too much of it. Um, it's not real crab at all. Um, it's just an imitation of it, but uh, just put very, very little of it. And I'm going to whip up my own sauce, which I'm going to make. Uh, spicy mayo type of sauce. So I'm gonna put some mayo, some sriracha together, maybe just a little sprinkle of ketchup and chili peppers as well too for the outer side of the uh, the roll. And I also got some wasabi and ginger on the side. And utensil wise, cutting board, a knife, really sharp knife, and also the sushi roll itself, right? So we need a sushi roller, definitely on this one. All right, so let's get down to this guys. I'm excited. Let's get this experiment going and see how it tastes like, all right? All right, first, we got our water, the rice, chopping board, chili peppers, wasabi, imitation crabs, but I got them in a watered bowl right here, just defrosting. Got my ginger, that's the roll of sushi, the sushi nori, and the hot dogs. All right, so the hot dogs, I'm gonna just cook them quickly in the microwave afterwards. All right, actually I should do that now. Got my cucumber, my knife, and my sushi roller. There you go, guys. So I'm gonna cook these up and get these hot dogs ready. All right, just put them in the microwave for like a quick minute and it should be good. All right, hot dogs are ready. Just leave that to the side for now. Woo, let's get started with this. Okay, actually the shiny side should be facing down and this is the part you wanna be rolling all the stuff in. So we're gonna put rice at the back because we want our outer shell of rice. Get some rice on there. Oh yeah, super duper cookie show. <laughs> Alright, damn, I gotta rinse my hand. Right, forget that. Alright, so we're gonna flip this over. Just flatten that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, so we need to get this cucumber sliced and this imitation crab sliced and the hot dog sliced and I'm gonna layer it. But first we gotta add some rice again on top. Oh, this is a lot of rice. Oh my God, that should be good. I can give my hand a nice rinse and then I'll be back. All right, got this cucumber here. Give this cucumber a nice uh, rinse as well too. Here we go. Now we're gonna put the hot dogs in the middle. I think it should slice the sides, to be honest. <laughs> this is so funny. Perfect, look at that. Now, I'm gonna slice the imitation crab. All right, now for the cucumber. Cut this right in half. Put that right on the side. Now, the rolling part. Should I just add double hot dog in there? I think I should. Just double it up. All or nothing. I, I you know what? That probably won't even work, forget it. All right, what I wanna do is just wet this a little bit so it doesn't get too sticky. Now, what I wanna do is just pick this up. This is going to be hard. Get that on there! All right, oh yeah, there we go. I'm gonna roll this this way. Oh dude, this is a huge roll, come on. And I'm doing this all wrong. Oh dude, okay. Oh, I really squeezed a cucumber out of there. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> it's all right, it's all right. So far, so good. So we're gonna slice the end parts right here. And get rid of the sides. It's a pretty sharp knife, actually. Really small, sharp knife. It's plastic. It's a little wet, but it's fine. And uh, what I'm gonna do here is just cut it. All right, so 
get that in there like that. Now we're gonna slice into six pieces. Uh, don't give me, don't get so mad at me for messing this up. This is two. Perfect. Now we got six sushi slices here. Just it out one more time. Voila. So before we actually whip up the sauce and put the wasabi in whatsoever, I'm just gonna give a quick presentation on this. Oh my god. <laughs> you cannot be serious. <laughs> All right. Oh my f Look at that. Just look at that. That looks ridiculous. There's more rice. <laughs> There's way more rice than anything else there. You know what? This is actually this is actually good. Because if I were to put two hot dogs in there, it would have been ridiculous. Unless I were to cut up in pieces, but I didn't want to have more of a hot dog presentation, right? So now we're gonna whip up the sauce. I'm gonna get this all cleaned up first and uh, put away, and then uh, whip up the sauce. I'm gonna lay it just on top of there, and then what we're gonna do is just have some ginger and wasabi on the side, and we're gonna eat this and have it with some awesome beer. All right? We don't have sriracha. I thought I had sriracha left, but there's no more. So I'm just gonna cut up these chili peppers right here. I don't think I need that much. And we'll leave these two as presentation. So, mayo. Okay, I got the good one, Miracle Whip. Come on, get out. And what I'm gonna do is just pour chili peppers in there. Heinz, just a little ketchup. I know you guys are thinking this is pretty disgusting, but if you eat hamburgers with mayo and ketchup, uh, I don't think so. Just a little bit in there. I'm just gonna zip this up. I know it kinda looks nasty. It actually looks kinda nasty, I'm not gonna lie. It is what it is. This is gonna be the special sauce that's gonna be going on top of the sushi roll, all right? All right, so we're gonna get our sushi back again. Boom. All right, just a little ginger right there. Get the wasabi going. Oh, this is a tube one, all right, not bad. Just give it like a little twirl there. Pepper presentation here. It was ridiculous. <laughs> oh dude, I'm so sloppy at this. Drizzle it over. All right, voila, sushi hot dog. And we're not just gonna have this alone, we're actually gonna have this with beer, all right? So I got myself some uh, premium Japanese beer. Kirin Ichiban. I never tried this one before, Japanese premium beer. 5% in ABV, 500 ml. I'm gonna pour some of the beer in there. There we go, hot dog sushi with Kirin Ichiban, all right? All right guys, that was a lot of work and preparation and especially having to get all the items and such. But uh, the outcome doesn't look bad actually. Um, don't mind my amateur kind of like assembling and stuff like that. Um, but it turned out pretty well, I, I would believe so. Um, I just think there's just way too much rice, but either way, I'm gonna try it right now. Ooh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> oh my God, and plus I got my beer as well too. So, oh, look at that. Here we go. Hot dog sushi, guys. <laughs> oh my god. Mmm. It's actually really mouthful. Oh. You know what I forgot to put? I forgot to put avocado. And I bought avocado. It would have been a nice and creamy. The sauce that I made with the mayo and ketchup, hot peppers, are actually pretty good. I didn't expect it actually to taste that good. Way too much rice. Um, definitely did put way too much rice. But either way, it does taste really good. The hot dogs is, is high quality hot dogs. It's about like $6 a pack. And usually a pack for cheap hot dogs would be like less than $3. So this is actually really good. So I'm gonna put some, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna put some ginger on there. Try to get a huge slab of wasabi right here. All right, there we go. Is that enough guys? <laughs> I don't know, all right. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Schwarz und Schade. I'm good. Mm. Okay. Oh, oh, that wasabi kicks in good. Just dip it. Finish this off. Stop you again. this holy crap I need to wipe my face holy crap that was a bad idea <clears throat> what a huge preparation just for one roll that's a, that's outrageous tastes pretty good though um, a little bit too much rice I should not have put it in the outside I should have just put it in the inside then I would have been able to make a lot more ro rolls right because I kind of ran out of rice there I only had a little bit left so if you guys enjoy this content or this video in general, don't forget to thumbs up, all right? And if you haven't subscribed yet, click the subscribe button and you'll see more content like this or different ones, right? So just give it a nice mixture out there for you guys. I know you guys want to see food. It was one of you guys actually wanted to see me cook again. Yeah, so here you go. Um, it was pleasant. Um, a lot of preparation involved. I used the wrong table. What's <laughs> It's fine. Uh, <coughs> cheers. See you guys next time. Peace.